Dock the ship here. We will pick up. Eivor, let them skew it. Loki's luck rubs off on me. Let's go. Sing, my ravens. If you have a... Sail! Sing, sing. Catch the wind! Let's have a song. Be careful now.
Bring the mask down. Mask off you do. Sail out. Raise the yeah. mast! Let the sail out! Give me a hand with this. Hey, come here.
need to row up. Run up to See sail. You. We can continue. Thor lends me strength. It's Kara, isn't it? So you do remember. Why wouldn't I remember my own Valkyries? It has been many ages since Odin, son of Bor, father of Thor, took his duty seriously. Instead, he frets about the future, tries to wriggle free of fate. That's what I hear. Mind your words, girl. Whatever you say, my lord and master. Now, let's discuss your duties. This field of battle. Does it bear fruit? The harvest proves underwhelming. Many have died, but without valor. <sighs> Unlike real heroes, they flaunt their wounds on their backsides, not their chests. What use will they be to me when Ragnarok finally comes? You have nothing to fear. I will make them ready for that final battle. Perhaps I can help. How? Why, let my own battle prowess serve to inspire them. You intend to tell them your old war stories? Ha! <laughs> Not even we Valkyries believe in those fantasies anymore. Then draw up an arena so that I, Harvey, Lord of Asgard, patron to all true heroes, may reenact my finest moments. Just the way they happened. 
This should be fun, if nothing else. So be it, lofty one, your arena awaits. Remind me what I'm doing here. In this arena, you can spin your tall tales and fight your old foes, so as to help the Ain Hariar prepare for the great battle of Ragnarok. And, of course, for my own personal amusement. Let me see what rewards I am fighting for here. A boon to any warrior's arsenal. <laughs> you can't afford it anyhow. Let me tell you a story. Let's see what embellishments you add to this one. Uh, how disappointing. Let me tell you a story. Let's see what embellishments you add to this one. I am looking forward to this. Let us hear your tale of glory. Listen now to the tale of my first meeting with the Lord of Muspelheim. I made my way onward. I saw Muspels lurking ahead of me. I attacked in a battle fury. Your skill in battle! 
one? Soon enough, I chanced upon a fearsome muspel, glowing with inner fire. You look cool, Tommy. Let me warn Did you hope to force us to death? Battle indeed, I think you'll agree. Well done, Harvey. Stirring tale. <clears throat> I feel great. Show me the blood, the chaos, the screams. Here is how I laid low a group of legendary warriors. I sensed the coming battle would not be easy, but I knew my strength would be equal to the task. Battle to set a scald's tongue to stirring song. You're stronger already. Such prowess! Oh, you not invent a fail! My tale concludes in glory and honor. The Skulls will sing this story through the ages.
I won. Over here. Let me see what rewards I am fighting for here. Hmm, a legendary choice. have earned it. Let me tell you a story. Let's see what embellishments you add to this one. How disappointing. Farewell, Lord of Asgard. Sing us a song. The dwarves hide their path in plain sight. I must be close to a shelter. your boat or don't makes no odds to me you 
enthusiasm is quite inspiring. Oh, is it? That's nice. Are you buying something? What have you got for me today? Anything else? I'll come back later. Be welcome, friend. Let me make art of your skin, a sculpture of your hair. The plight of your people has not dampened your spirits, it seems. The surest cure for sadness is to make merry, and we have made merry indeed. You have a new design for me. Does it not prick at your conscience to feast in this place of plenty, while your kin starve throughout the realm? Uh, should I be miserable because they are, to each their fate? Mine was to find sanctuary here, beneath the bountiful tree. I will enjoy what time I have, till better days come, or not. I would like to see what you have in stock. Anything else? Another time, perhaps. This evening I will pour my favorite drink. It is called Ireland. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? I am not as thick as you drunk I am. I have contracts, I won. Lovely contracts. And Red is always generous. Unleash yourself, High One. Have fun. Where is my friend? Which one? I know what fires these hands have occurred. Right. And Asa! Oh, that little pie. What but her grinch and looks in her pompous way. She will bear the brunt no of our fury. Enjoy. If there's anything to learn from these dwarves, it will take great patience on my part. Rest a while. What for? I this is quite a feast for so desperate a time. Bountiful food, bountiful ale, bountiful women. Would you be anywhere else? You make a strong argument. Excuse me. Oh, greeting, stranger. You got the look of one who knows how to throw a line. I would have thought you had little need of help in this place of plenty. Mm. It's true the fish came easy from that lake. <laughs> Too easy. We ate our fill and more, and we thought they'd last forever. We were wrong. Bring me fish from outside, stranger. From the places we dare not go. I'll reward you well. I brought something for you. Mm. 
Need something more? I'll return another time. You're looking for the blacksmith? He's out. Went on an expedition, he said. You're looking for the blacksmith? He's out. Went on an expedition, he said. This is the thought of having to sit Come through your Join us, gentlemen. Hello there. Well, well, well. Looks as though we have a guest of honor. Come to join us in our final moment of respite, High One. Is that the sorry sight I see before me? Ah, oh, piss off with that high and mighty aura. You will not dampen our mood. Of that I'm sure. Father, mighty poet, chooser of the slain! The raven god, whom they call Oski, Sigdir, Harvey. I know my names, friend, and they are many. But what is yours? I am Ori, son of Nori, son of Gori, also son of Gori. Uh, they have the same name, you see? The begetter of Fimbur, who was sired by Fomur, third child of Bombur. Uh, then there was Gubrak, Voldi, Gori again. Ori, you said? Oh, that's right, son of Nori. Your pride in your family does you credit. Are any of them here with you? Oh, no. Dead, a lot of them. Father, he was crushed when a cow wandered off a cliff and landed on him. Grandma, a bird sat in her face, she fell off her pony and ran herself over with her own cart. Grandpa lost his razor, so he tried shaving with his axe instead. You can imagine how that went. <laughs> that is quite a streak of misfortune. <laughs> exactly. Bad luck runs in the family. Prone to misadventure, you might say. Still, I made it down here when the invasion began. Feasting and idling all day long. So maybe my luck has turned at last. Speak again. Come! Come on! So when I suggest you rest, it's because if you don't, then neither do I. This eve I will pour my favorite drink. It is called. Look around! There's got to be a tank that we can tongue a few drops out of. Don't let me interrupt you. Lord, am I pissed or does the Allfather stand before me? Uh, both? <laughs> this... this is good. The Wise One will surely help solve our problem. Let us help one another. What exactly is the source of your grief here? Rhymes! Rhythm! Oh, we could use your poet's heart. My what? Your words! Your gusto! We, the greatest of the sons of Ivaldi, are in need of a fitting end to the song of... Will our end? I am here to understand how you might help me strike back at Sutra. Strike back? Nonsense! Besides, it is not only he we must contend with, but his kin, his daughter Asa, stirs above, snatches up our people, works them to death. An unwinnable war? All that's left to do is eat, drink, shag, and seal our legacies. Exactly! But as is clear as day, we have drunk ourselves to hell, and no rhyme sticks the way it should. So, it must be you who completes the song of our saga, mine and Lom's. I will hammer the end of your saga with the strength of Mjolnir. Yes! What spirit! 
We are to be remembered and revered by all. Yes! With Javi among us, we must adjust the final verse. Listen closely. <clears throat> <clears throat> to the depths of Svartalheim, great Javi came, met with dwarves he knew not by name. In search of warriors without remiss, instead found cowards who reek of piss. Um, not quite what I was thinking. Let's try. You call yourselves the sons of Ivaldi. Why? To shit on his name? Brammer, I don't think he means to lend his words to our song. Go away, Mom. Your words carve a deep wound, but they are true enough. Each day we see our numbers dwindle. Friends go out, but do not return. The choice to forget is alluring. Sutra has stolen my son, and I do not have the luxury of forgetting. You said Sutra has a daughter. Yes. Clever. Cunning. Commands an elite swath of warriors. She oversees Surtur's operations here. Where may I find her? There is a smeltery up the road. The dwarves there may know. I'll go there, see what your people know. With luck, I can trap Asa, trade her life for my sons. Thank you, Bermia. Now tend to your people as a true son of Ivaldi should. I need you. I will. This marks the end. Well, we at least go out with our bellies as full as our spirits. Death may have to carry us into the next round. <laughs> I feel I'm sorry for the giant dwarves. The, the burden yeah. alone may yeah, be too out much out for today's work. Yeah. Come back another day, life taker! And bring a sturdy. Be on your way, please. Why are you here? I'm busy. As a heart, I should put it to the test. Surely his beloved daughter's life is worth Baldur's freedom. The dwarves of the smelting camp. Maybe they can help me hunt down the little princess. like this.
Is everything all right? I wish I knew, High One. You recognize me? Of course, but I have no quarrel with you. Even if I did, I have more pressing matters. I... I must get into the dwarf shelter. You have a death wish? No, but if that's what it takes to be reunited with my love, it is a risk I must bear. They hold a Jotun captive? No. The one I love is... a dwarf. Svas. And as strange as it might sound, I think he loves me. With everything happening in this crazed world, I know how important it is to hold on to things that are precious. Do you think you could help me? All I want is to speak to him, to know I'm not alone in feeling what I feel. Very well. But I cannot take you inside looking like this. Can you shapeshift? How's this? Had to be a wolf, didn't it? Come again? Just stay by my side and don't eat anybody. I'm not an animal, you know. So, <clears throat> what's your plan? I don't know. And stop talking, or you'll give us both away. Do you know the way to the dwarf you seek? I have a scent. Then lead the way, but stay by my side. Ah, there's a good girl. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hobby, hold it there. You cannot bring that... that thing in here. And lead us whole. Be calm, friend. This is my pet. She won't harm a soul. Your pet? We have heard tens of you hunting every last wolf out of Asgard. Well, don't believe everything you hear. Now, let us pass. Where's your pet going now? I'll go see. Asker, have you lost your mind? You know what they'll do if they see you in here. I couldn't wait another moment, and I had some help. I can see. Thank you, High One. It was no bother. And I have done far more for love, believe me. So, am I mad? Or are you feeling this too? You're not mad. You're... amazing. I can't believe you'd risk your life for me. In a heartbeat. Wolves, help! We must help them. Come, high one. A Yotun! A Yotun got inside! Kill it! No! She fights the wolves. She is your ally. Find a happy place. Find a happy place. Find Get a happy back! Place. Get back! Go find some other place, will you? What the hell is going on? Just some wolves seeking death. Move aside. Your identity secret. Twice you have now risked your life for love. The Jotun! She led the wolves to our door! The Jotun are our enemy! Silence! Are you simpletons with minds locked by what you believe and blind to what you see? You all saw. Vasker didn't hesitate to help. She was there, in a heartbeat. Accept her, or she and I both leave. You mean it? Yes, I do. I would be a fool to let you slip through my fingers. Then my work here is done. Good luck, the pair of you. And to all of you.
I won! Oh. Let me tell you a story. Let's see what embellishments you add to this one. I am looking forward to this. I will bear witness to your deeds in battle. Mm. I feel great. Hearken to the saga of how I slew some ice bears. By surprise. In short order, a great beast was upon me. Agree. To relive such legendary battles pleases me greatly. I won! Over here! Stare at the wretched. Go on, take a look. There. Now, leave for your own sake. Forgive me. 
I cannot stay here any longer. I have my doubts it happened that way. Ah. It was more likely than he did. What do you want? Were you followed? Let's finish off here and then go Salutations! Any other way I can help? Until next time. You are only a never Come, I won. I have wares to sell you. I was wondering when you would show up. Flogging your shiny trinkets as usual? It's good to see you, too. Still, I wonder how many more times our paths shall cross like this. A fair few, I'm sure. Really? Though the twilight approaches? Not for a long time yet. You speak with the certainty of one who can see into the future. My eye can see very far indeed. And yet you are so short-sighted. When the twilight comes, it will not be for me. Perhaps you are not as unique as you like to think. You... you too have a plan... for Ragnarok. Loki has tutored me in many things, and I have put his lessons to good use in ways that not even he could ever dream of. He has misled many. <laughs> you most of all, from what I hear. You speak above your place, Imp. Then let me get back into my place, I won. Care to buy any shiny trinkets, as usual? I am always happy to relieve you of your hard-bound opals. And if you have no opals, I can help you earn them. Another of your schemes. Uh, fine. Tell me what you have in mind. There are many who envy my success, Javi. Vicious individuals who seek to sabotage my noble plans. Luckily, the sons of Ivaldi are more sympathetic to my situation. They too are eager to see my enemies brought to heel. You mean you've bribed them? Gold and silver may have lost their value here, but the dwarves still have needs, and I am in a position to remedy those needs. Seek out their members who are in my pay, and they will provide you with contracts. Contracts? A clean word for a dirty task, no doubt. Observe my outfit, I won. Note the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates, clad in these same vestments. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum, which you can then spend here with me. A striking look coupled with an efficient design. I have to go. See you soon. See you later. Only anyone for three. Ah, a sight for sore eyes.
Looking for a companion you can trust? Buy an animal. About the only thing you can't trust these days. I sense a story behind your bitter words. Oh, no doubt you have heard it before. Boy meets girl. Boy marries girl. Boy has a fling with some apple-cheeked strumpet. Girl finds out. Moosebells invade the realm mid-argument. Boy and girl forced to flee to shelter where they are stuck together. Every day I have to see his cheating face. Every day I'm reminded of his betrayal. I can't get away from him. <sighs> that is why I say to you, save your trust for animals. A horse won't stab you in the back. Can't even pick up a knife. Hoofs, you know. And what of the uh, strumpet? That, hopefully. Is that all? Is that all? I'll leave you to it. Away for all our good. Hello, Harvey. Try not to get yourself killed. Nice. No, is safe. Still alive. If we flee, we, we leave everything behind. Oh, brought me gems, have you? I'll see when I. You did well, Aina. A true scholar. You have surely earned your people's trust once more. Honestly, it matters not. So long as Fritjofer is out of their clutches, you must understand better than anyone. That I do. Ah, oh, good to see you again. Need anything else? Farewell. We don't want more trouble. It's terrible to you. I wish these crystals were edible. Are they? How do the dwarves stomach this filth they call food? I'm meant to make an honest living cooped up in here all day. Mighty Tira, yours shall be a saga for the ages, even if no one understands a word. Saga i, mava ondan dechrai havi. My thoughts exactly. Green, green dust everywhere. Back again, I see. Anything else? Enough of this. Working so hard that even McCallus's have blisters. Please, Jova. Break off bolts. Seeker of relics. The blind one who now sees. And you're only half an asshole. Not bad for a one-eyed Aesir. Be well. 
No, you are welcome in Asgard. We have meat that will drive you blind all over again. Yeah, maybe I'll give that a miss. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Uldar. Oh, sweet mead, dry ale, pickled acorns. Green, green dust everywhere. Here to help? Another makeover. Another time, perhaps. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the laughing I'm busy does some good. Pissed. Thank you, Gunnar. My pleasure. Please, don't be. I feel sorry here. for the giant stuck on the Are surface. Yes, yeah, we're all the fun down here. Feel that? Come drink with me. You Unless you're how hard they are. Unless you're sissy. Oh, that's... Greetings! You look like you've drunk enough already. Hey, I'm sober as sober as I'm sober, alright? Now, are you gonna drink with me or not? Would you like to place a bet on it? All in. I like it! This should be easy. Don't count on it. Beer is mother's milk to me. Literally. Mommy did like a temple. You there! C come drink with me. Unless you're... Unless you're sissy.
clamor of hammers echoes out of the past. A great work was fashioned here. Gungnir, a gift from Loki for the Lord of Asgard. Forged of sunlight and strong Asgardian metal. The tip of the spear was carved with runes to guide its path. Gungnir never missed its mark. Now Loki had the three gifts he needed to win his redemption in Asgard. Sif's hair. Gunknir and Skithbladnir. But already in his mind a plan was hatching. Three gifts was not enough. What's happened to you up there? I knew you weren't ready. Probably got yourself hurt again. What ails you? Have you lost someone out here? In a manner of speaking. I'm waiting for someone to return from an errand. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. There's little I wouldn't believe. Speak while you have my ear. I have a crow. Cracker. Found him, injured, back when the invasion started. I nursed him to health and he chose to stay with me. We share a bond. I swear it's like he scouts the land and I can understand what he sees. Have you ever known such a thing? It sounds most familiar. So your crow is lost. Out here? Not out here, up there. On that damn lump of rock in the sky. Reckon there's something good. Something really valuable out there. So I sent Cracker to see what he could find. He's got a talent for finding treasure, you see. So up he went, and that was the last I saw of him. 
Then I shall keep an eye out for your cracker. Unless you can sprout wings of your own, I don't see how. I'm full of surprises, dwarf. I should be cautious around here. I think I'm not the only ship that's on this one. Kill these bastards. We may both spread our wings again, eh? Attention. <laughs> Norns be kind. Thank you. Enjoying Muspel hospitality, I see. They caught me before I could steal what I came for. For my master, the dwarf below. Kraka, he calls me. Long ago, I invaded this land. The dwarves fought back. Wounded, I changed form, hid as a crow before the dwarves could finish me. Believing me to be a mere bird, Scarvi found me. Took me in. Saw that I was healed to full strength. Never knowing your true nature. I doubt he'd welcome the news. No matter. The treasure on this rock? I must retrieve it for my master. I owe him my life. Would you aid me? I cannot offer anything in return. But Scarvi, I'm sure he could. Saved you the bother. I already have it. All I ask is you give it to Scarvi. Please. You'll not give it to him yourself? I have burdened him enough. I'll not burden him with the knowledge that he helped his enemy. He deserves better than that. Very well. Good luck to you, Kraka. And to you. Don't keep me in suspense, Esir. Here. I have something for you. You... do? 
What is... It cannot be. How did you... As I said, I'm full of surprises. Indeed. And Cracker, my crow, did you see him? I, I found Cracker. He uh, has chosen his own path. <laughs> you speak as though he told you himself. What? Out with it. Cracker is a Jotun. He sought to bring you this treasure as thanks for saving his life. A Jotun? A shapeshifter? He understood my every word. The things I confided. He said he burdened you enough. Well, that wasn't his choice to make. He... He should have... Oh. That bracer of yours, that's how you got up there. What of it? I can enhance it, should you wish, as thanks. Enhance it how? Meet me at my forge and I'll show you how. Of course, same could be said for any smith worth his or her salt. And these rocks in the sky, if you find any more treasures on them, bring them to me and I'll see what I can do. Very well. I'll meet you at the shelter. This area is off limits.
What? Dark spirits torment this land. <laughs> Something is wrong. Foul. Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction.
Should need those. Smells like a trap. <coughs> Damned. Need to get on the other side. Easy now. Something is not right. Need to be careful here.
so you don't make me miss. <laughs> That's right. And your little mates loved it. Could barely contain themselves. <laughs> It's over. They'll not harm anyone else. Oh, thank goodness you came, High One. They... they killed my friends! The bastards! I would give you something in thanks, but they already had everything of worth that was in my pack. Really, it's fine. Get to safety, and we shall call it even. Stop by my shelter. I'll give you something there. Nothing fancy. Just something to say thanks. Your Dagger Shelter, it's called. These giants here... They said there's more of them. Might be their leader. Up in the hills, northeast of Stormilna, they said. If my path should take me that way, then perhaps I will pay them a visit. Can you get to your shelter from here? I think so. Well, then I may find you there someday. Good luck.
I'll crush you! Stink. Smells worse than Ivaldi's forge back in Asgard. Let's see what these dwarves can tell me about Asa. <laughs> Go on! Be on your way! Please! Odin's order! You toil as if tomorrow will never come. Is this the pace Asa demands? It keeps her pesky rodents off my back. Keeps me fed. Well, barely. At this rate, I could eat a troll. I imagine the hunger pangs hit quite frequently here. May I offer you something to eat? It would surely help keep this toiler going. I have something that will sate your belly and hopefully rouse your spirits. How can I repay such a kindness? Asa is a common enemy of ours, and I'm looking for her. <laughs> common enemy is right. If I had it my way, I would bash her pretty face into scalding goo. Sadly, she has not returned for me to try my hand, and I do not know where she has gone. Is there anything you can tell me? Hmm. I get the growing sense you mean to confront her. Forcefully. Then do have caution. Asa can use magma to treat her wounds. Quite quickly, I might add. She always has a silky fresh layer on her skin. I'll have to remember that. If you see Asa, you will give her my friendly regards, won't you? Leave us alone! You should really leave! Don't hang around here! I would have a word with you. And Asir? You... you should not be here. I'll only take a moment. Please go. I do not want trouble with the guards. They allow me to speak only when reporting to them, and them alone. I should disguise myself as a muspel. Leave me be. Please. I'm looking for the one they call Asa. Does the name mean anything to you? It means I should not be talking to you, nor should any of the others. Now go before you land us both in hot water. Hot magma, more like. Do not react. It is I, the Asian. But what? That is quite the disguise. If Loki is giving lessons, tell him we could use his expertise. I have him locked away in a dungeon cell for roughly the next thousand years. Ah, uh, so then, what brings you? You have not come to lend your hand in the muck. I'm looking for Asa. Can you help me with that? 
Suter's daughter. Haven't seen her for some time now. She's got her minions keeping a watchful eye on us, though. What I can say is that wherever she goes, she makes it a point to forge large magma pools. Seen her do it here. Walks around in them. I hear she can even move through them. Something to look forward to. Crafty she is. If you see any liquid fire pits, it may be proof she is nearby. I will keep an eye out. Can you spare a moment? Piss off, one eye. <laughs> Friendly. I'm looking for the one they call Asa. Does the name mean anything to you? It means I should not be talking to you, nor should any of the others. Now go before you land us both in hot water. Hot magma, or like. What are you doing here? Go away! We've enough misery here! Be on your way! Please. Can you spare a moment? Piss off, one eye! <laughs> Friendly. You and I should talk. Hi, one. Is that really you? What are you doing here? I've come looking for Sutra's daughter, the one they call Asa. I hear she frequents this place. She makes her rounds, comes to see that we are working as best we can. What is all this work for? Who knows? She brings us the ores, we extract the metals. They go to Sutra for whatever it is he so desires. And what is she like, this Asa? Mm, get on her bad side and she'll bark her threats. But so long as you keep on the straight and narrow, she is uh, tolerable. Ensures you are well fed and healed of your wounds. Sets the bar high for a moss spell. Where might I find her now? I do not know. But you can try your luck around the kiln. <laughs> Asa appears snuffed of heart for a spell. Bad. This is very, very bad. Are you all right? Move away! I need to fix this, or I'll lose the whole batch along with my head. <coughs> no, no, no! What is? What? Ah! <coughs> 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 Bad. This is very, very bad. If I could just free that damn trap. <laughs> good as new. You have done me a great service. I could kiss you. I'd prefer you use your lips to tell me where I may find Asa. Asa? What business does an Asir have with a Muspel princess? I have a quarrel with Sutur. His daughter will help me rectify it. And how do you plan on that? Asa may come off as a young cub, but she does have a dark side. As do I. Can you tell me where to find her or not? Not exactly. The resources we receive come from a Milna. But I haven't got a clue which. Our blacksmith, Glamnik. Asa took some of his workers with her. He may know more, but have caution. Last I heard, the guards are making an example out of him.
doing here? Don't hang around here. Can you spare a moment? Piss off, one eye. <laughs> Friendly. What are you doing, longer. you out of here. Now keep quiet. Quiet? My arse is on fire! Wait, you can walk over magma? We are in the clear, I think. Put me down! Put me down! Are you okay? I owe you my life. Those muspels were prepared to let me bake to death. You are in no debt to me. Though, as it turns out, I have need of your help. Me? Uh, what can I help you with? Putting a stop to this invasion. I am listening? I know Asa oversees your work. And I need to find her. What do you know of her whereabouts? Nothing more than which way I saw her leave. It was east. Though, interestingly, she took a bunch of my people with her. Diggers. 
Maybe she is scouting another site? That is helpful. Farewell, and keep safe. Some other task has stolen Asa's attention as of late. If she's distracted, that will make capturing her all the more simple. Go east! That is where I last saw Asa headed. Stones that dwarf mentioned.
I wonder how Asa feels about uninvited guests. Yeah. I need your eyes, my friend. They will attack on sight here. Everything a Muspel princess could ever want.
is this? Are you lost, Desir? Well, that depends. I'm looking for someone. I was told I might find her here. Maybe you know her. Muspel, around your age. Goes by Asa. Father's a... Uh, how shall I put this? A vainglorious fool who thinks himself a god. Never heard of her. Then you will not mind if I stay a while. Dip my toes in one of these soothing fire baths. I have a better idea. Oh. Turn around. Go back from where you came. And please, do mind your step. That is no way to welcome a curious outsider. Care to put that away? Why? Afraid I know how to use it? I'm sure you can use it. Passably well. But then I would have to kill you. Don't worry. You won't. Bye, it's an easy way out of this. Now where is the fun in that? Let's keep the baubles out of it, shall we? Oh no! The godly gloating! Smite me, I cannot bear it! If I were you, I would save the tongue wit for a more appropriate time. I saw no such trinket on Sutra. Yet he too has a problem with dying. So that was you and Aetri. What squabble had you trading blows with my father? He has taken my son! And now I will give your father a taste of what he has wrought. Move, so that I may trade his child for mine. <laughs> you clearly do not know my father. Your son, Baldr, I assume. He has something my father needs. And if that is so, Papa would sooner see me dead than give in to your demands. If you want your son back, you will need something far more precious than me to barter with. Me, his own daughter? I simply will not do. Then there's no longer any need for you to draw breath. Asa! We found it! We found- Oh! Found what? <laughs> what have you found? 
Uh, Asa would not want me to say. Asa is no longer here. I am Javi of Asgard, Lord of Frenzy. And you are in full control of my temper. I'm, 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 I'm a mural. Asa believes it may help her gain entry to an ancient vault. It is in a cavern that way. So long as Suter lives, my son will be his prisoner. But how does one kill that which cannot be killed? If death is not his weakness, then I must find something that is. I was searching for her should be somewhere in this cavern. She believes there's something interesting here. I need to see what it is. I could use Loki right now. He always had a nose for treasure hunts. symbols, a few of which may allude to peaks or mountains. You! Can you read this to me? Me? Uh, I, uh, I, I can try. Elven runes are not something I can decipher with ease. You will fare better than I, and that will have to do. Any mention of an ancient bolt, a door, secret entrance, maybe? Uh, no, uh, but uh, I can make out this. See? Two great mountains to the north, the sun and moon above. That's it? Regrets, Asir. We are simple diggers, not experts of things writ long ago. Not to worry. You've been a great help. The wall is located between two great mountains to the north. I should search there.
Stronger already. over here. Good hole. Let's go. 
Get up. Can't raise the set the same.
Come, we've outstayed our welcome.
leave us alone. Us here? Oh, brought me gems, have you? Here, yeah. more gemstones for your collection. You're very useful. For a foreigner. I'll see what I can find for you. I'm working so hard that even McCallus's health blisters. Good to see you somewhere safer. Hi, Warren. Good to see you again. Here. Something to show my appreciation for saving my life. This is unnecessary, but thank you. There are more of these Jotun leaders I must seek out. Front of her fury! She will regret having ever followed her father into Swartalfheim. I know you are hurt. My spirits broke. There is little I can... Harvey! What can I do you for? Something else? Something else? We'll speak again. So we meet again. Like I said before, find more of those embers and I, or some other smith, can use them to make you something special. You seem ill at ease with your kinfolk here. Mush-minded fools! Carousing and singing while the realm falls to ruin beyond our doors. I made weapons for warriors once, not spoons for gluttons. In greater days, we were a mighty folk, making up in ingenuity what we lacked in stature. But we loved too well the things we made and turned our eyes inward. When the enemy came, all our hammers and axes mattered nothing for the strength of heart to wield them had been lost.
around then. I'll come back later. I'm not bloody embarrassed. It's like I said, the damn fish took it from me. You were wrong. By a fish! Come on, get serious! I am serious. Oh, look, just tell me again exactly what happened. So, I was gonna catch the fish, right? Well, it had other ideas. It told me to drop everything I had in the water, so, um, I did. Right. Good. That clears that up, then. So what? The fish reached into your pocket and just took the key? What? Oh, don't be stupid. I, uh, uh, gave it the key. You gave our key to a fish? An exceedingly persuasive fish, yes. But you want it back, you go talk to it. Oh, look, just... You there. What's this of a fish-based robbery? According to my brother here, the damned fish that guards these waters has now taken to petty theft. Guards these waters? Surely a terrifying creature of the deep. All teeth and tentacles and eyes all over its monstrous head, yes? Challenge fit for the Lord of Asgard. No, no. Just a normal, you know, fish. But huge, at least, yes? No, not especially. But it is cunning. No dwarf has caught a fish here in months, and all because of that one fish. Indeed. And what of the theft? It managed to charm our hard-fought key right out of my stupid brother's pocket, he reckons. It was most persuasive. Listen, stranger. Catch this fish, you can keep our key and the treasure it unlocks. We just want that one fish gone. What do you say? Perhaps. Let us see what this beast is capable of. Us? Oh no. I'm staying well away. You want it, you get it. I'm off. Yeah, there must be somewhere decidedly less dangerous to go fishing. Come, fearsome creature of the depths! No more shall you torment those who visit these waters. Face your end at the hands of the High One! <clears throat> Have at you!
Look at all those delicious fish. Something bit, but I doubt it's the guardian of these waters. Something bit, but I doubt it's the guardian of these waters. Fine catch. Nothing to say for itself. Guardian fish is still out there. My mouth! What are you playing at? You don't see me barging into Asgard and dragging you out of your house. So, not a fish at all. No, and not an enemy. I was there when you came to Jotunheim and drank enough mead to kill a man. I saw what you did to Sutunger that day. Damn near beating him to a pulp single-handedly. Only a fool would challenge you. But you have bested me fairly when no other could. And believe me, many have tried. You want this key, I assume? That, and for you to leave these waters. That I will not do. I have made a home here. Dwarves repeatedly intrude, make attempts on my life, and those of my aquatic neighbors. I won't stand for it. So I impede them, harming nothing but their pride. I dare say you would defend your lands from invaders more vigorously. I, I would. And I see your point. As strange as this all may seem. Then have your prize, and I shall have mine. Life as a fish is full of wonder. You'd never imagine. So I shall protect these waters for as long as I live. <laughs> Very well. After all that... Let's hope this chest was worth the bother. I found the most remote lake in Svartalfheim, and yet dwarves flock here like there are no invaders in their lands. Feels strange having legs again. I just want to swim in peace. No concerns, no burdens. Just movement and flow. I shall guard this lake and all who dwell within it. It is an honor and a privilege. You hear? Sisters! Our lake is safe again! Hmm. Conversation is the one thing I miss, mind.
Hi one! Over here! Let me tell you a story. Let's see what embellishments you add to this one. I am looking forward to this. Show me the blood, the chaos, the screams. Mm, Thor lends me strength. Let me tell you of the day I fought three warriors. <laughs> My way onward, but a terrible enemy loomed. <laughs> Glorious battle indeed, I think you'll agree. Well done, Javi. A stirring tale. Let us hear your tale of glory. Allow me to recount one of my glorious battles with my cunning brother, Loki. saw what I knew to be my prey, and I struck.
tale concludes in glory and honor. The Scouts will sing this story through the ages. I will bear witness to your deeds in battle. Hearken you to the tale of my deadly duel with two of the most feared warriors of Muspelheim. So victory was mine, as it ever shall be. Show me the blood, the chaos, the screams. Here is how I laid low a group of legendary warriors. I sensed the coming battle would not be easy, but I knew my strength would be equal to the task. Next was a battle to set a scald's tongue to stirring song. A true 
drunkard would face their enemy, not shy from them. tale concludes in glory and honor. To relive such legendary battles pleases me greatly. Tell you of a glorious battle I had with the fire giants. I feel great. I made my way on, I saw Muspels lurking ahead of me. I attacked in a battle fury. Wiped the blood from my weapon. A group of moose spells took me by surprise. My tale please you, Valkyrie. I have more where that came from. Well done, Harvey. A stirring tale. Let's see what it... Ah, uh, how disappointing. Let me see what rewards I am fighting for here. Ah, the battle glory that has seen.
have earned it. Farewell, Lord of Asgard.